North Alabama football improves to three and one on the season after a 37 to 35 win over Azusa Pacific in the home opener this past weekend. Catching up with UNA head football coach Chris Willis and coach Willis Chandler Carrera, the hero from Saturday, five field goals on the night, including the game winner as time expired. How great was that to see from Chandler? That was awesome. You know, you go back to last year. I know Chandler, uh, along with me, we had our heads down after game one and we lose eight to seven to Texas A&M Commerce and he missed those kicks. But we knew all along, you know, I think Chandler's missed one kick since that game. And uh, he works every day. You ought to see him in the summer, the time he puts in out here. And I was proud of him. He made those kicks. They were clear kicks right down the middle. He could have made them from 60. I uh, had all the confidence in the world if we could ever get in a field goal range of sending him out there. There was no doubt in my mind he was going to make it. So I, I'm, I'm extremely proud for Chandler. He deserves everything he gets. Coach, we traveled nearly 3,000 miles the first three weeks. Coming home, we were very excited, and it was a really strange ball game, a two-and-a-half-hour weather delay. Your team makes it through that. I know during the game there was a lot of penalties, but it wasn't really what we're used to seeing this season. No, it was strange. You know, we haven't shown that. Um, it was 19 penalties in the game, 10 against us, 9 against them. Both teams were very chirpy, I guess is the word, they back and talk, back and forth with each other. Uh, but we did have some other penalties that were on us, and, and uh, we can't have that. That's selfishness, and we can't, we can't have our players doing stuff on their own, uh, taking the game under their hands because they don't, they don't want to agree in the call. You know, We've got to get to the sideline, and, and, and let's get things worked out and get back out there and play football. I, I just want to line up and play the game of football. I don't like all that stuff. That's not us. I don't want to celebrate on touchdowns. Uh, let's just do what we've been doing for the first weeks of the season, and let's don't change what, we, you know, all of a sudden, let's don't change that, so. Coach, as we move into week five, it's a future Big South opponent on the schedule, North Alabama and FCS Independent this season, traveling to North Carolina to take on Campbell. This is a Campbell team with an identical record as your ball club, three and one, and coach, they're very talented. Good football team, uh, a lot better football team than we just played, not taking anything away from Azusa Pacific, good football team. They're going to win a lot of games in the world of Division Two. Um, and so this quarterback for Campbell is really good. He's a dual threat. They got two really good receivers, maybe more than two. Running backs are strong. Um, he's done a great job. This is not going to be a, a, an easy game. This is going to be a four quarter game, I hope. And um, just, to, you know, we got to do what we've been doing. Go through the logistics of travel, uh, get there and, and be focused and play good football. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll get a player or two back from the ejection. Uh, hopefully they'll overturn at least Rico's. We'll be missing Christian Taylor uh, probably in the first half, but uh, we got to be ready to go. We got to have a good week of practice. This football team's really good. Uh, they might be the second best team we've played all year. North Alabama on the road taking on Campbell this weekend. Be sure to visit RoarLines.com for more UNA football updates.